Adam Lavelle, the wrestling snob from WrestlingDoneRight.com here to continue rating matches, again, only the matches. If you want to see my thoughts on every aspect of WWE programming, Raw, SmackDown, PLEs, go to my YouTube page. I have it linked here on my profile, and it's always linked at WrestlingDoneRight.com, along with my Facebook and Twitter and everywhere else where I talk WWE Wrestling Done right. But the next matchup from Monday's Raw, May 13, 2024, wasn't so much about the match because the match was pretty much a squash. Pretty much, you know, over before it began. We're talking about big Bronson Reed versus Akira Tozawa. Of course, Bronson Reed come in and squash it. It's hard to rate this match, but based on the angle, the story, if you will, even though I'll argue that stories are what my grandmother watched when I was a child in the afternoons, angles are what they do in pro wrestling, not stories. But I know that's being a little nitpicky, but I'm an old school guy, so it is what it is. Um, it's a wrestling match. I would rate it a W because it was nothing special. It wasn't bad, but it was nothing special. But the angle was advanced greatly. What angle am I talking about? I'm talking about the Alpha Academy, right? I'm talking about um, what they're going through. Chad Gable, their infamous leader, pretty much being a bad guy, being a jackass now, right? He, he grilled into all three of his member, Maxine Dupree, if you will, and Akira Tozawa, and of course, Otis, before any of these matches, including this one, telling them how they're losers, telling them how they have to suck it up, telling um, Tozawa, I better not see you do that stupid dance. I love it. You know, I am not a comedy fan in wrestling, so I love Chad Gable. What he's doing here is getting his Alpha Academy students more over than they've ever been because he's making the crowd hate him with a passion, so they love them even more. So even fans who weren't didn't care a whole lot about Otis and Tozawa and Maxine Dupree. Now we're going to care more about them because the big meanie, the bad guy, the guy who thinks he's too good for them anymore, Chad Gable, is giving them what they call the rub. And I don't like insider terms that much, but I was a commentator for 10 different independent promotions here in Pennsylvania and one in Maryland over the years. So I did work in the business for a little while. I'm not claiming to be a star by any stretch of the imagination, but I commentated for numerous companies. So sometimes I might drop an insider term here or there, like the rub. But that is what Chad Gable is doing for these guys. And again, this match, eh, it was a wrestling match, rating it a W, if you will. But, uh, you come here to watch this match because you love the angle and you can't wait to see where it's going. And it's going to be great. Even a little hint with Ivy Nile stopping by when Gable was grilling his Alpha Academy because there's some there's some scuttlebutt, some rumors that Gable will be joining up with the Creed brothers and Ivy Nile down the road. And this was maybe a little forecasting of that. We'll have to wait and see, but be patient. Let Gable do what he's doing with the Alpha Academy. And that is making them more appealing to the crowd than they've ever been, and it's going extremely well. Keep an eye on this. It's only going to get better. But this was a W, a wrestling match that, not bad, not good, was what it was.